Welcome back to Wolf Plus for a second time today. <laughs> Didn't expect this one, but uh, to surprise to all of us, Goose made a big announcement that they're going to do a little bit of an island tour, at least in the sense that it was an unexpected pop-up run of shows. Um, theirs being at the Cap, April 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. That's, what is that, three weeks away? Gotta love it. Four weeks away? pretty yeah. crazy that's how i like announcements though like that's how they should be right like within that time frame yeah i mean it's kind of awesome because like the hype coming off the chateau sessions you know and the and and the audition tape with cotter and then all of the uh you know presence online and then just get it out and before it even dies down you got the round of tickets you're buying tickets you're there all before the sphere, mind you, right? Like yeah. I thought the sphere was around the corner, and all of this is happening, you know, before then, which I think is a really smart move. Well, totally. And doing the, you know, the announcement that way, like a month away, I that that's what I like. Like instead of announcing it and being like, oh, the shows are in October or like September, you're like, sweet, the announcement's now I'm buying my tickets and I've seen them in a month. Perfect. And what a great little mini run sort of thing before hitting everything for the summer you know to kind of get out there i mean it's it's totally out of the fish playbook from back in the day which is fine right like i mean it's a success it's a successful playbook it worked why not copy it i think the thing with goose is doing though which i said this before on live or whatever we were on they're just masters of content creation you yeah. know like i mean they really they don't just announce it they put effort into it like i know fish used to do videos and stuff too but like these videos they like there's like a whole series of them training Connor, like doing the push. Like there's a whole, it's really funny. And I posted today. I'm like, when they finally get to be on SNL someday, they're going to totally be part of the skits. Like yeah, there'll be at the least skits. one skit for sure. If they don't just do the whole hosting and musical guest thing. But I love cool. that video. I, I think they absolutely nailed it. Uh, you know, some of their bits in the past have not really landed and, and we're kind of, cringy i guess is the word i would use but, right. but this i i there's a it's not just that it's like funny or well written or well acted or anything like that because it's not really that no. you know but it's there's a, a an authentic excitement and energy like you believe that this band is excited and passionate and getting along you know and i believe it that it was a pop-up for them that they weren't yeah. sure what they were going to do they started playing with cotter things were clicking and they're like you know what people need to hear this beyond just through you know a webcam and, or through the internet and for them it's almost like preseason games you know like they've done the practice they've kind of had training cam and got him used to things but now why not play a little before you hit the sun like the spring and summer runs and really get into things you know like why not kind of get out there and stretch it a little bit and see what is all you know what i mean i think it's a great a great thing to do too instead of just hitting the road with him it's it's it kind of this whole progression of bringing him in and this thing is is really they're doing it really well like yeah, it's really, masterful it's like a soft rollout or something with him you know it's really it's a it's a great to see and i mean i'm not talking you know i see savage goose still stinks we're not gonna <laughs> like really criticize or talk shit about the band really because i know we kind of do that every now and then i'm Sometimes. more just i'm really on board with their content and the way they're doing things and announcing things and staying so true to their fan base i really think it's a cool thing for them like music aside yeah i i'm with you i'm also i think i'm probably taking the biggest leap into fandom uh, kind of unexpectedly but you know, I was intrigued from like the human story of like Ben leaving and like the psychology of how a band adapts to that. So I started paying a lot closer attention than I had been. Uh, and I think a lot, maybe there's a lot of other people that are in that same boat as me. And they capitalized on that because the way they rolled out Cotter with the that initial video and the initial jamming and then the Chateau sessions and they're playing is you can't argue that it, they're playing fantastically, whether or not it's your taste or style mm -hmm. or you like them. But just like as far as pure musicianship and execution and what they're doing, the creative choices they're making with their jams are, is really good. So I'll be interested to see if that holds for me or if this is like, a you know, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not like drinking the Kool-Aid. Oh, I'm going to go on tour now. But I'm definitely very uh, I think I would say I'm 100 percent, at least like 99 percent. I was thinking that should be the name of our after show, by the way, <laughs> if we do that is like 100 percent sold and. And just have that be our, our goose after show. 100 proof. 100 like proof. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with everything you just said. Like, I, you know, I told you a few months ago, I was randomly got served a video of theirs from their Fort Collins show on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I went to school in Fort Collins. I'm going to watch this. And I got hooked. And I was like, okay, I can see the appeal. I can get it. And I'm not getting into them by any means, but I give them a fair chance. I'm not going to bitch and complain and be custy old vet over here with them. <laughs> like, I like to be with fish sometimes because, you know, whatever. But I'll give them a chance. And like I said, being a content creator and, and really heavy into that stuff, I love seeing what they're doing. And I love that if you, if it, even if it doesn't work or it falls flat, it's still fun. It's still great to see them out there trying to do it. And it's kind of like that B movie level. Like they're not trying too hard, but they're trying enough to make it do silly. And this, fun um, do you think this choice for the cap was because for the fans or was it for, for cot? Cause I feel like, I think it was I yeah. think it's for caught. I think it makes the most sense, like the slow roller. Obviously, it's for the fans to get them in, but I think it's for the band and, and them to like really see their first taste of playing live. Like the, the, the capacity of, things, of the caps only like two thousand people or something. Yeah, it's, so it's a it's small, tiny. Yeah, it's not meant to be like you know a big thing. I, again, it feels like a rehearsal. It's just like a slow rollout, like a soft rollout of him. You know, like here were the original rehearsals. Here's some Chateau sessions of us playing sort of live, you know, in the moment. And then let's actually get in front of an audience and see how we do and get those bugs worked out and the nervousness. And then, you know, yeah, apparently he was a guest that, yeah, the, he uh, was. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess, I mean, but still like with the band and getting the Kings worked out, they honestly with, it's crazy how fast they've risen, but I remember talking to one of their, uh, their team, uh adjacent last year and they were saying that they were having sound issues on the last tour because the rooms they were playing were bigger mm -hmm. than the tour before like mm -hmm. that's how you know what i mean like mm -hmm. they had already jumped so fast that there was some they technical weren't... issues yeah. and, and so like i'm i think i like this whole i don't know if there would be technical issues with the new drummer but you know what fuck it like do a like a little low-key low you know expectation test run and, and get it all worked out for everybody man the roadies included getting his gear set up all of that stuff and just get it to a place where you know you, you've done it rehearsals and all of that stuff now get it in front of a live audience and see how it goes and then take the act on the road i mean it, it makes perfect sense to me i think it's great i love what they're doing so bravo well, <laughs> tickets are uh what are, what are they doing they're going on sale they're up on the page already yeah, March 16th, 5 Eastern is when the request closes. So that's uh, this Saturday. So if you want to go, try to get in with the request. Again, it's only 1800 uh And I think that's the key capacity, there too, so. Tim, is like one of those small venues with as big as their fan base is getting. It's like that, that you know, scarcity kind of manufacturing scarcity and like that, that feeling of like there's only 2,000 seats, but we have – you know, thousands of fans that are going to want to try and come, but it's a scarcity thing. So it, it warms that up too. It's great. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to broach the subject with Christina very gently and see if I <laughs> just te test the water, see if it's even a possibility. Like, so you want, you want to go up to uh, the cap this weekend? <laughs> but if you go, who's going to do the after shows? <laughs> I know. Oh, you don't know. Kevin, I'll hold it down. They, they haven't announced a stream, but I would hope with, uh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure they will yeah 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 and it is only lottery you no know, general sale which again is that scarcity thing i'm talking about they're doing it really well they're like manufacturing tension and scarcity and this kind of thing with it by doing it like this so it's great builds that and then for all the people that can't get in we'll stream it which is right. the logical conclusion to that so and then i guess we could just go ahead and announce that uh we'll be doing after shows i'll commit to it Fuck we'll it. see Fuck it, we'll try it. Fifteen we'll minutes after encore, come hang yeah. out with Plus, and we'll uh we'll break it all down. All right, well, let us know in the comments what you think about this move. If you're feeling a little, you know, jaded and crusty about the the mimicry, or if you think it's awesome, uh, and uh, if you're gonna try to make it to the shows, I think I'm gonna, I think I might try, but I'm excited about it. I I think well done. I give them two thumbs up. Definitely. Nice move, Goose. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> all right, let's. Cool. See you guys tonight for Wolf Club. 10 o'clock Eastern. After Woo. shows are coming. <laughs>